Hey folks, today we are going to be making this awesome endless slider in PowerPoint. It's pretty quick and easy to do and the results are quite impressive. So let's get started. Alright then, let's jump over to a blank slide and the first thing we'll do is go to our slide master. Then we'll go to home and select a rounded rectangle and draw it in the center of our slide. Adjust the dimensions and the rounded aspect of the rectangle and then go over to insert placeholder, click on picture and draw the box around the rectangle, send it to back. Then press shift, select the placeholder and then select the rectangle, merge shapes and intersect. And that's how we create a rounded rectangle placeholder. Let's right click, go to format shape and let's just fill in this rectangle so it's more visible. We'll do a quick pattern fill, change the background to a light gray so it stands out more. Then we'll give it a shadow. Let's increase the shadow size to about 105. Let's increase the blur and a little bit of transparency. So the shadow is just visible. And then while remaining in our slide master, let's reduce the size of our workspace. Having done that, let's select our placeholder, press Ctrl D to duplicate it and make another five copies. So in all, we have six placeholders. Let's select them all, bring them into the center. The important thing to remember here is that placeholders cannot be grouped. So we'll have to select them and rotate them manually. So having rotated them, we'll now have to adjust them to each other and sync them. Having placed our placeholders, let's select them all, go to home and then go to uh, arrange, align and distribute horizontally just so the spacing between them is equal. Then let's select five of the placeholders that we made and copy them, take them above, align them off center to the previous placeholders, make another copy, bring them down and also aligned off center. And there we have it. That's what our slider will look like. Next, what we need to do is add some animations to the placeholders themselves. So let's select the leftmost placeholder at the top, go over to animations, add animation, motion path. Let's drag the end of this motion path to the second last placeholder and make sure it covers it exactly. Then let's go into our animation pane. Set it to start with previous, effect options, remove the smooth start and end. In timing, let's give it 15 seconds and let's have it play until end of slide. Having done that, let's go back to the placeholder, select it, double click on animation painter and apply this animation to every placeholder that we've created. Let's deselect our animation painter and let's select our center row of placeholders. We can press Ctrl and click on each. Then let's right click. Let's go to effect options once again. And in timings, we'll change this to 20 seconds. So the top and bottom move at a different pace from the center row. We can now exit our master. Select the layout that we've just made and let's take a look in full screen. And that looks really neat. Next, all we have to do is add images to our placeholders. So I'll quickly add some images.
And of course, as per your need, you can add any images that you want. Or if you have more images that you want to display, you can simply make the placeholders longer. So let's check it out. And that looks really nice. And now we have just one last thing to add to this animation. Let's create a new slide. Let's draw a circle in the center. Make sure it's center aligned. And then let's drag it to just outside the confines of the slide. Let's remove the shape outline. Right click, format shape. Let's give it a gradient fill. I'll also change this gradient to radial instead of linear. Then let's go over to animations, give it a spin animation. Check it in the animation pane, set it to start with previous. Let's go to timings. Let's change it to about five seconds and set it until end of slide. So it should look like this. A very subtle transition of the colors. Finally, let's grab this circle that we made, bring it over to our first slide and send it to back. And now if we check it in full screen, our slide has this subtle color shifting effect, which looks really nice, but isn't super distracting. And there you have it folks. As I said, a quick and easy way of making this fun animation. If you'd like to try it out on your own, I'll make the file available for downloading. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.